Hi dear students, I am Sally Rex, Assistant Professor of St. Paul's College with you for the session in Conversational English. We shall revise certain English expressions to convey dissent, caution, emotional support, condolences and disapproval. These slides are designed according to the syllabus and the previous university question papers. Firstly, let us listen to certain expressions to express dissent. As you know, dissent means a difference of opinion on a particular subject, especially about an official suggestion or plan. Dissent can be expressed in varied levels through the appropriate words. Therefore, a disagreement or dissent can be expressed bluntly, subtly and also diplomatically. Let us listen to certain expressions of strong disagreement. I am against it. That is simply not so. That's not true. You are absolutely wrong. You have no idea. Now let us listen to certain examples for subtler expressions of disagreement. I don't go along with you on that. That is a good point, but yes, but I have a different perspective. Hmm, I'm not sure about what you said. I see what you are saying, but I'm sorry, but I disagree with you about this. Secondly, expressions to convey caution or warning. The word caution means the care taken to avoid danger or a mistake or to say something to avoid danger. Modal auxiliaries such as should, must, ought to, have to are used for this. Let us listen to certain examples. You should avoid walking out in the dark. You must abstain from the use of liquor and cigarettes. You ought to respect your parents and elders to avoid disgrace. You have to wear a mask to keep yourself safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Thirdly, we have expressions to show emotional support or encouragement. We all know the power of the right and kind words to lift the morale of a depressed person. Such expressions can boost up someone in trouble. The examples are, I appreciate all that you do for us. You can do it even better. I have great faith in you. Don't give up. You are doing so well. You have proved that you have the talent. You have done a perfect job. Fourthly, we deal with similar kinds of expressions used to motivate people. These are sentences we often use in our daily life. Examples are, Come on, you can do it. Never give up in life. You are brave and brilliant for it. Nothing can stop you now. You can make a difference. You can do the impossible. You need to believe in yourself. Now, we shall learn certain expressions of condolence. Condolence means you are showing sympathy or you empathize with the bereaved and you acknowledge someone's death. Examples are, I am sorry for your loss. My words can't express my sorrow for your loss. She or he will be sadly missed. I am here for you if you need any help at this time. Lastly, let us listen to certain expressions showing disapproval or displeasure. These sentences also have the milder and the stronger variations. Firstly, let us listen to the expressions 
of mild disapproval or displeasure. It was not as good as I expected. It was quite disappointing. It was disgraceful to say the least. It was not satisfactory. Now let us listen to certain expressions of strong disapproval. The mission was utterly disappointing. I disliked the very idea of it. It was thoroughly disappointing. I just can't stand it. How unpleasant. What a shame. I won't come again here. 